Hi Pisces, I hope everybody's well. This is going to be a general love reading for September 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Pisces. And it is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. But you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. And the roles can be reversed because this is general, regardless of whether you're cross-watching or not. So we have Guide as the overall energy for you, and I actually want to get one more. Let's get one more for Pisces. All right, and Shadow Work. All right, beautiful. So there is some guidance here, all right? You are being guided, or maybe the person you're dealing with is being guided, maybe the connection is being guided, and however, this is happening through shadow work, all right? Having to face your own shadows, having to face your own fears, um, whatever it is that might be holding you back, things that are buried deep within you, all right? There's a lot of guidance when it comes to doing that inner work. So let's see, Pisces. First half of September, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, for the situation, we have the Queen of Pentacles crossed by the Nine of Swords. All right, so, hmm. I feel like, yeah, you know, this, if this is you, this is you trying to work on yourself, trying to really nurture yourself, trying to really find your sense of self-worth, all right? You are doing that. Um, but it might also be causing you some pain, which is um, the challenge here, right? That having to possibly face certain things um, that need healing or whatever that is, whatever you need to do in order to take care of you might also be creating some stress here. Um, let's see the recent past we have judgment and in the near future we have the six of swords Okay, so possibly there was a decision that was made recently or there was some kind of a revelation something that you feel um, Or the other person that your eyes were opened to something like having a revelation all right, and I feel like you're trying to move away from whatever it is that is creating pain. You're trying to move away from any conflict and you're trying to move towards um, towards a calmer state of being. That is what is coming up for you here. All right. I, you are succeeding at that. So let's see for you. We have the five of swords for them. We have the ace of cups. For you, we also have the three of wands. For them, the tower and potential outcome is the five of pentacles. All right, Pisces. Okay, you... There might be something that is creating some deception in your life or something that you feel is deceptive. Maybe that is what you have become aware of. All right. Um, I feel like there you are still thinking about the future. You're thinking about how to move forward or how what it is that you should do. Again, I do see you moving away from whatever it is that is um, creating pain, and it could even be related to this person. So maybe you having discovered what it is that you are worth, you increasing your self worth, is creating anxiety because it's. It's helping you to see that maybe something has been deceptive, all right, either within your own self or from another person or maybe both. However, there is a person here that um, does hold a lot of love for you, okay? So if there is someone else that has deceived you, this could possibly be somebody else, all right, with this Ace of Cups. Um, because there is definitely a lot of love here. Whoever this person is, they are undergoing a major transition here something very difficult so we'll see more when we clarify um, potential outcome we have the five of pentacles so it this could be you know having to face some kind of a loss um, either for you or the other person let's see don't worry about that five of pentacles 
We'll see more when we clarify. I actually feel like you're moving in the right path regardless of what that Five of Pentacles is. Like that might just be something that, um, you know, moving, if you're moving away from something that is creating stress or something that was deceitful, sometimes that can com come with a bit of a sense of feeling like you, you had to lose something. And I feel like I was saying that for the, I think it was for the air signs or I can't remember, maybe the earth signs. I don't really remember, but I, I feel like it's been um, a theme for some of the readings this time around that sometimes in order to move towards happiness where we will gain a lot, we might have to lose something else, but that's okay because it'll be worth it in the end. So let's actually see what's going on here. Let's see this Queen of Pentacles crossed by the Nine of Swords. Maybe some of you are thinking about an earth sign and that's creating stress. Could be for some of you. Um, let's see. So we have the Nine of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. You're, you're in a situation right now that you feel is very challenging. Um, th I feel like you may even be almost wanting to resist moving towards the light, right? Moving away from whatever it is that is creating you this stress. But I feel like you're still um, you're still pushing through. You're 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 still fighting for for that, even if it does create some pain. I feel like you're overcoming whatever those challenges are. You're trying to find some balance. And like I said, it's like you, you, know, you know what you are worth. And this has been actually a recurring theme for, for the water signs as well. And yeah, this is Mannix wanting to destroy our spread here. I know he's cute, but can't have him mess up all the cards again. He already did that. He already did that yesterday. <laughs> all right, so let's, let's see. Let's clarify judgment. Again. Yeah, he just wants to be petted. I'll pet you, but don't mess up the cards. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> He's like totally just turning out around on his back wanting me to pet his belly. Alright. Come over here. Okay, so clarifying judgment, we have the Knight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So there is a major revelation recently when it comes to how you feel um, love should be approached and what it means to be able to approach love in a way where two people can actually work together as a team. And I feel like that was a major revelation. Again, this could be your person, all right? So we'll see. Somebody is realizing that. Somebody realized that. That it's almost like, you know, I feel like maybe somebody was approaching um, love from a from a perspective of things just being very practical, of things just um, wanting to just work together on something and mostly you know seeing it from a very um practical point of view rather than also having the emotions and i feel like what was realized is that yeah but you know what like you also need the emotions it can't just be something that works on the surface all right let's see that five of swords for your energy Manix, give me some space, please. All right, Five of Swords. Okay. All right. The 
Seven of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Eight of Pentacles. What is going on here, Pisces? You... I feel like you may have been trying to block out um, a loss, or you were trying to you were trying to avoid to avoid a loss and or feeling some kind of a loss, and for because of that, you you're moving in a direction where you're just trying to focus on work possibly. So you may have been trying to distract yourself um, from whatever it is that is going on. For you, whatever it is that is um, creating this, this stress. By distracting yourself possibly with work or with just focusing on other things. But I feel like, you know, you... It feels like you can't even really be focused on whatever else you're trying to focus on to distract yourself because... Well, you're feeling that nudge, you're feeling that guidance to really face this, um, these shadows, whatever they are. Let's see the Three of Wands. Five of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. So you're thinking a lot. You're, you, I feel like you really are facing whatever this is. So there's a part of you kind of trying to um, numb it out. You're trying to distract yourself. However, like I said, I feel like it's like you can't anymore. Um, you're thinking, you're, you're doing a lot of thinking when it comes to the future. And what it is that you would truly want? What is it that would truly make you happy? And you're thinking about ways to do that. So I feel like you might be waiting just a little bit before taking action here or be, before beginning on this new path because it, it is something difficult. Whatever it is that you are discovering that you deserve or that you want, again, it's coming with some stress at the same time for whatever reason. You know, everybody's situation is different. And this reading is reminding me a little bit of um, Scorpio, possibly as well as Cancer. And we do have Cancer showing up here. So if those signs, um, you might be dealing with one of those signs or maybe you have those signs in your chart. Let's see what's going on with this other person here. Let's see the Ace of Cups. We have the Six of Wands, we have Death, and the Ten of Wands. All right, so there's somebody here who holds a lot of love for you, and I feel like this is like a pure, unconditional love. However, I feel like this person is tired. Um... Tired possibly of, I don't know what they're tired of, but there's something that they're tired here, and I do feel like it's related to whatever it is that was creating an issue, okay? And because of that, I feel like they are trying to bring about some kind of an ending. And I feel like they are, they are, and it, but that, and it could be for this relationship, but that doesn't mean that they don't have these emotions. Um, there's a lot of love here that this person still has for you, but maybe this whole situation has gotten a bit exhausting. And it doesn't necessarily mean they're actually ending the connection for good. Um, I feel like they still want this to be successful, but okay with that six of wands. But I feel like they also feel like, you know what though, like something needs to change here. And I, that could be what the tower is for them. So let me clarify the tower. Yeah, 
Jess, I know you want me to pet you. Just let me finish this reading and I will give you so many hugs. Come on. All right, so clarifying the tower, we have the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, okay, so this is the tower that this person is going through, is the fact that they're actually um, standing their ground here, um, trying to be firm um, in their decisions. I feel like this, again, this is somebody who does hold love for you. This is somebody who wants commitment, but they also need security. They need consistency, um, that sort of a thing. And the fact that they are possibly um, ending this, in one way or another, maybe it's just energetically, it really depends on, on your situation. Um, it's it's making them feel unhappy, like it's not really what they want to do and that's why it's creating a tower for them, like having to face their own issue of, you know, putting an end to something that for whatever reason isn't working out. Um, yeah, they don't want to have to do that, basically. But, it's causing a transformation for them as well. So let's see that five of pentacles in the potential outcome here. All right, we have the king of cups and the ace of swords. See, I knew it. <laughs> Yes, there is, there is a sense of loss here because, and it could even be related to somebody's identity, all right? I mostly feel like in this particular case that this is you um, because there's something maybe that you are, that you are giving up here, right? With that five of pentacles also being here in your energy. Um, that's coming with shadow work and sometimes, you know, when we do shadow work, when we do our inner work and and face our fears, it might mean that something needs to be given up or something needs to be released, even if that is a part of our ego or a part of our identity, maybe another relationship, maybe a commitment, maybe a, a particular situation. Um, so by doing that though, what you get in return is this King of Cups, that's love at its best and authenticity and it's moving you in the right direction moving you straight to love basically and emotional stability for you as well so whatever this is it's nothing that you cannot overcome um, and I feel like you are being guided in that direction right. Annex. all right so Pisces if this resonated please give me a thumbs up and let's see your final message and if it didn't resonate it just wasn't your situation that's okay and we have the fixed moon hold your vision yeah and I feel like you're having that vision here right with that three of wands looking out into the future you know stay focused on what the end goal is right that king of cups and the ace of swords that's the end goal here Hold your vision on what it is that you want, and it's okay to release other things. So Pisces, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching, and much love.